Hello there, my name is Stephanie Rojo and I'm an attorney at Stone Law Offices in Las Vegas, Nevada, and you're here for our five at five. We've already spoken about probate and you know that probate is a place and a process and it is something that we have to deal with when someone passes away owning assets in their individual name, meaning they don't own it jointly with anyone else, there's no beneficiary listed, they don't have a trust that's owning that asset as well. They truly own an asset in their individual name when they pass away and someone wants to get a hold of this asset. So we have a family member typically who contacts our office. They'll let us know, is there a will? Is there not a will? We identify, do you want to serve in that capacity? If you're nominated in the will, do you want to serve as executor? Do we have to default down to the next nominated person in line? Or if there's no will, are you eligible to serve as administrator of the estate? Do you want to serve as administrator of the estate? Do you want to do that jointly with someone else? So we work through those details. Once we get past that, we have a legal service agreement that our clients sign. They'll pay an initial retainer to our office, and then we will really get into the probate process. My legal assistant will prepare our initial probate pleadings, and then those will come to me to review in advance of the client coming in to sign those. So in the actual probate petition, we're identifying what type of probate we are going to ask the court to open. There are different kinds. There's a set aside, summary administration, general administration. And I'm throwing out a bunch of names at you right now, but basically we look at the total value of the estate and then we can determine uh, which road we're gonna need to go down with probate. Okay, so once we've got past that, in the petition we're identifying the next of kin, the closest living relatives, and we are also providing their contact information. The administrator or potential executor, uh, the petitioner in the document signs the petition, we get that filed with the court and we get it scheduled on for hearing with the court's calendar. Once we get a hearing date, we provide the petition and the notice of hearing to all the interested persons. So that is the deceased individual's closest living relatives, their children if they have them, their contact information, if they had a trust as well and uh, they didn't have everything in that trust, we're, no we're notifying the trustee at the trustee's contact. And we are also notifying the IRS and Medicaid to put them on notice that this person has passed away and a probate is being open. Because when we get a little bit further down the road, if they file a they, they have the opportunity to file a claim against the estate and have priority repayment uh, before the beneficiaries do receive their share of the estate. And there's a bunch of things that happen in between initiating the probate and closing the probate. We'll get to that in a later video, but for right now, I just wanted you to have a, a, a general overview of that beginning process. We need to have several questions answered. We need to understand if there's a will or not a will. We need to lock in who's gonna serve as the administrator or the executor under the estate. And then we need to get that process rolling with the probate court. If you are in a situation where you have, you know someone who has passed away or you have a family member that's recently passed away and you know that there's assets that are just sitting there, then please, please, please go ahead and give me a call. We can sit down and we can have a conversation on what your options are moving forward because I guarantee you if the asset is in the deceased individual's name, there's no beneficiary, no co-owner, et cetera, you are not going to be able to have access to that. Okay, so once again, my name is Stephanie Rahul. I'm an attorney at Stone Law Offices in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you'd like to call me for a conversation, I'd be happy to talk to you. My number is 702-998-0444. I look forward to speaking with you.